What's up guys and welcome back to The Station Bakery. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to share tips, tricks, treats, and trends. And if that's something that you are interested in, please be sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. You guys, today I have the cutest, and I mean the absolute cutest hot chocolate bombs. I am starting out by adding my colors into those cute little intricate details. You can leave this just plain. I like to add just a pop of color just to bring these to life just a little bit more. Once I let that chocolate set, I go in with my base white coat and I pour it in and I shake it around just to cover any of the open spaces. Then I take a brush and paint around the edges, making sure that I have nice, firm, sturdy, thick edges to make the perfect hot chocolate bombs. I would personally say that these hot chocolate bombs are level two on the skill set because they are a little bit more work and there is a little bit more intricate detail that goes into them. But as I always say, hot chocolate bombs are so amazing as they are so versatile and you can do so many things with them. A tip when making these more intricate designed hot chocolate bombs is to make sure that you hold it up and look to make sure that you are filling in any potential holes and gaps. Because they are not just one smooth shape going up the side, you have to check in the crevices and creases to make sure that you are hitting every spot and there are no holes. This is the part where things are gonna get a little bit more interesting because usually in the process, you pop them out of the mold and you melt them down, add your fillings and then put them together, but not for this tutorial. As you see here, I am going to fill the mold, fill the hot chocolate bombs while they're still in the mold. This creates the most perfect hot chocolate bombs ever and it minimizes a lot of the work so there is no need for a hot pan or a warmer or anything of the sort. Another thing that you may notice that I'm doing here is I'm doing what I like to call the reverse method. So instead of putting in the hot chocolate and then topping off with marshmallows, I am purposely purposefully placing the marshmallows and then pouring on the hot chocolate on top of it and shaking it down so that it falls in between the cracks and the creases of the marshmallows. Mind blowing, I know, I know guys, but this is the best way for this process and this method. If you've learned something already and if you're enjoying this tutorial and the music and just the whole vibe of this video, please be sure that you give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'm going in with a blob of chocolate to cover and top these hot chocolate bombs off. Take your offset spatula or whatever tool you want to use, scrape off the excess chocolate, pop it in the freezer to let it set and chill for just a little bit. I have found this method to be the absolute best method. I hope that this method really helps you guys as well. If it does, please leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. 
after they chilled and said we're gonna pop them out and you guys look at the beauty on these hot chocolate bombs look at how beautiful they are just that little touch and that little pop of color just really makes them gorgeous now you guys i told you that these hot chocolate bombs were going to be the cutest and i meant that And here you have it guys, the most adorable, cutest hot chocolate bombs ever. If you agree, let me know in the comments below, let me know how cute these little hot chocolate bombs are. And I hope that you have learned something new in this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, leave me a comment, share with your friends, make them share them. Do it all guys, do it all. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, peace.